Hello there, this is just a short video to, dis to describe the repair of a faulty button on a doorbell. Um, what I've got here is an Arlec model. So what's happened is that on the front of this uh, board there is a button here which gets depressed by the, the plunger when you push the front. Occasionally this button doesn't work. As you can see there, I'm pressing it, and nothing's happening. Uh, so, it's not working. Oh, there we go, now it works. Okay. Another way to check whether you've got an intermittent button is to use a, your multimeter and set it to um, the amp meter setting. And then just short, so I'll zoom right in. You short the across the terminals of the push button and it should go off each time there you go and this button's been known to play up sometimes the doorbell will ring at like a 2am in the morning which is very annoying so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this button and I'm going to replace it with this button and I will drill a hole. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to drill a hole somewhere near the top there to, in order to mount that button. And then once it's mounted in through the hole, I'll solder it across the, the terminals of the screw, I mean of the button, and then that should get it working again. Um, but before you do any work, you've got to remove the, um, the battery off this uh, board just so that you don't, you don't wreck the board. Okay, I'll do that now. I've, I've removed the battery. Um, just remember, if you want to remove the battery safely, you, you've got to try and avoid shorting the, uh, the, the, the terminals of the battery. So it's a matter of getting a, something non-conductive flat and then just prying it up from that little gap there. Okay, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna remove this switch on this side. So this switch is over here, not on there. So I'm gonna use my soldering I'll speed up this video uh, when I edit later. Okay, now the switch has been removed. Okay, next step is now to drill the case and solder all the wires. Um, I'll mount the switch and then solder the wires back on. Okay. I've center marked the, ho the hole that I need to drill to accommodate the switch. Um, it's got to be sort of 6mm away from the edge because the, the screw head is about 12 mm That thing there is about 12 millimeters in diameter. Right. I've just drilled the hole. I had to draw a 7 millimeter diameter hole to uh, get the switch to fit. Um, so now it's just putting everything together. And I'll just actually fit it all on, checking to see everything fits. It should. So that'll go back nicely like that. Look, I'm going to tighten this up. I like to place this, these two terminals here horizontally. The wires go, you go into any hole. So I'm putting that on.
Okay, the switch has been fitted and the, and the board's been put back in. I did not put in the third screw below this switch because my switch was too big. Um, so the other two screws holding it, um, the board down should be okay. Now, so now I'm gonna plug it back in my unit. If you've disconnected your battery, you need to press this switch here in order to pair up it again with um, the uh, receiver unit um, in order for it to work. Uh, so here, that's when you have to press that button again. But I've already done that, so pressing it. The doorbell should work reliably. Thanks for watching my video.